What's up guys, it's Austin. Welcome to today's vlog. Today I have a lot to talk about. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is these 3M games I keep doing. I've been on a roll with those lately, just doing one by one by one by one, and I'll get into that in a minute. Secondly, I'm hearing that viewers that watch my videos are getting haunted. Like, you guys are telling me in the comments that, hey, like, my house is haunted from watching your videos, and I'll get to that in a minute too. We're going to talk about some Shadow Man stuff. As you guys know, I was haunted by the Shadow Man this year. I still think I am and I'm gonna explain why and then I'm going to bring Ouija boards into the topic so there's a bunch of haunted topics that I'm gonna talk about it's gonna be a long video okay starting with the paranormal games as you guys know I've been doing a bunch of those lately I've done the Samara sleepover ritual I believe is what it's called where you summon the girl from the ring you go into the bathroom you say her name 13 times yada yada she's supposed to do something I got knocks I believe I think I got footsteps in that video too I'm not really too sure if you're here, can you make the candle stop? Whoa. Samara Morgan, can you give me a sign that you are here? Knock once for yes, twice for no. Bro, that candle is going insane. And I also did the closet game twice. The first time, I didn't break the rules, I just played it normally. Someone wanted me to break the rules of the ritual because apparently you guys want to see me die from demons. So I did that and I saw a shadow figure, no word of a lie, behind me. It could have been like the way the darkness was. I don't know. I don't know what I saw, to be really honest with you. I'm pretty sure that when I looked in the mirror in that closet, I thought I saw something. The first time I played it without breaking, Breaking the rules, I heard breathing in my left ear. Show me the light or leave me in dark. Holy, Holy light, 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 light. That was very uncomfortable. I had to dip out of that closet so fast when I heard that. Okay, so getting on with the point of the paranormal games, I've noticed they're actually making my house more haunted, which is actually kind of good because then I can prove to you guys more that this haunted stuff does exist because that's kind of what this channel is about is like doing haunted things and being like, oh, like this is real. You know, this isn't just some made up bullshit thing. Every time I do either the closet game or Bloody Mary, I've been having knocks from the bathroom. I've been having thud sounds from the closet. My EMF reader has been going off in my house lately. I don't mean just going into the green, which is still energy communicating with you, but it'll go into the yellow, which is supposed to be like medium strength for a spirit. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay, so that's starting again. And then I've been realizing that I've been waking up a lot at 3 a.m. Now that could just be like a dream thing. Oh my God. One time I I woke up at 3 a.m. a few days ago. Here's a little like dream story time thing. I woke up, I have a coat rack over here. You guys can't see it right now. It literally looks like the shape of the shadow man and it scared me so bad. I almost had a panic attack because it looked like the top hat and the trench coat that he wears and everything. It looked like the shadow man. I just about died. Going into the 3 a.m. topic a little bit more, you guys have been telling me that ever since you've watched my videos, you've been getting haunted. I just think that's crazy. I'm not saying that you guys are lying because I'm getting comments like almost all the time being like hey like your video haunted me like you called some creepy numbers at 3 a.m. and now my house is having weird stuff happen my phone is malfunctioning like I've had people tell me that their phone is glitching when they watch my videos I've heard people that their phone volume will turn up and down unexplainably without them even touching it I think I heard that someone's phone turned completely off I'm not too sure about that one I think that's one of them that I heard I've recently been talking to a younger viewer of the channel and he's been telling me that ever since he's watched my closet game videos that his house has become haunted and I think he said he had like scratch marks somewhere on him I think it, he said it was on his finger these 3am games are really creeping me out don't worry I'm gonna keep doing them I'm still gonna keep doing the paranormal games no worries there it's just I'm starting to realize well I guess not starting to realize but like I'm seeing like how dangerous they really are when you do so many at a time which I'm still gonna do a bunch of them because <laughs> I'm stupid but yeah I've noticed you know people are getting haunted from watching my videos. No one's really been like, oh, I can't watch your channel anymore because I'm haunted. They're just like, I'm haunted because I watch your channel, but I'm still gonna watch it. And what's interesting about all this is I looked this up online. I'm just like, can a video really haunt somebody? Like, is a demon coming out of the screen? Like, what is this about? So I look more into it and it actually says right here that demonologists 
which are people that literally study demons. They're not like Satan worshipers. They're not like bad people that want to hurt you with demons. Demonologists believe that demons or ghosts can attach themselves to you through other people, which I've heard before, objects and or devices. Now I've heard of both of those before, people and objects for sure, because if someone has a demon latched onto them, that energy can very easily just jump onto you. This is almost like an educational video on like ghosts and demons. This is actually really fun. What I'm getting from that is you watch a video and I guess the energy that that video is giving off, whether it's negative energy of a demonic entity that they're filming, even if it's like a pre-recorded video and it's uploaded to YouTube or it's on Netflix or whatever, that energy can manifest itself. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. I've looked into this and when you watch that stuff, it really like just takes a toll. In the beginning parts where the shadow man was haunting my house, still is, whenever friends would come over, I'm just like, dude, we can't talk about this stuff like it just makes it worse when you talk about spirits and stuff I've also heard that that also makes it worse because you're giving it energy like you're talking about it so who's to say that like when you watch a demonic video that that can't do the same thing because that video is talking about a demonic entity not only that but they're filming it when you talk about it also that brings the energy together too and it could very well make your house haunted and there's a lot of people that don't believe that and I just think it's really important to bring up right now okay now we're gonna get into the Ouija board. As you guys know, I have my history with the Ouija board on this channel. It's terrifying. I'm not going to say like, oh, I'm never going to do it again because you never know. I might actually do it again. Like when I was doing the Ouija board, I feel like that haunted my house even more. Like going to haunted locations and playing the Ouija board was just crazy because we would go there. We would take with the Ouija board and we're just like, okay, what do we want to contact here today? It worked at the mine, but it didn't work at the witch's fort for some reason. But like sounds were still happening all around us, like walking and footsteps and everything in part four, which really confused me. So it's like, it's almost like it's working, but it's not working. And people are like, oh, that's just a board game. Nothing can come out of that. Almost like how people think when you watch a video, nothing demonic can attach itself to you just because it's a video. And it's like, well, that couldn't be further from the truth because with Ouija boards, you're literally trying to summon something or hoping it summons something and you're hoping that it works. And honestly, I think no matter where I go, no matter where I move to, I think whatever is haunting me is always gonna be there like right now I think it's just laid to rest for a little while I haven't had too much happen other than the 3 a.m. videos it feels like it's on a break right now and that it's gonna start happening again I don't know when it just feels like the calm before the storm if you know what I mean I feel like paranormal activity is gonna start happening in my house a lot more again I don't know why I just have that feeling I just have like a gut feeling that that's gonna start happening again especially now that I'm doing haunted stuff like full-time like I always do I've been having a lot more nightmares mirrors lightly about paranormal things, which could just be because of the fact because I do a lot of paranormal things, to be honest. Going back to the Shadow Man, that did not haunt us from the Ouija board. That was the Zozo thing. That was from the Ouija board. The Shadow Man was from the Abandoned Ruins video, part two. And if you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description so that you guys can go watch it. There were eyes at the back of the tunnel. A viewer pointed this out. Like, if this person had not pointed this out, I would have never known that that was in the video because I didn't see it. It's literally a man standing at the back of the draft tunnel with two glowing eyes at the three minute mark, I believe it is. Right when I pan the camera from one of the walls, to the middle, you can see it. And then when I move the camera again to the left, it's gone. Like in the next frame, gone, completely unexplainable. And I'm just like, okay, that's weird. And then we get back and of course the EMF reader starts going crazy on the bed. And that's just where everything just started spiraling out of control. And then a week later after that, I believe is when we found out what we were haunted by, which is when it started to get really serious. I feel like I should almost be putting a warning at the beginning of these demonic locations, not really like the ones that don't have demons, but the ones that do have demons. I feel like I should be putting a warning at the beginning of the video, which I think a couple of them I have, especially the ones where we play the Ouija board, where I'm just like, yo, don't play this. This is not a game. This is not like some board game like Monopoly, <laughs> even though some people think it is. And then they wonder why they're haunted because they play it and think, oh, I'm not gonna get haunted from this. And then it's like, hmm, yeah, you are. And like, speaking of the Shadow Man, like where he came from, from the ruins and everything, I really wanna go back there and investigate and do a Shadow Man seance in the ruins, in the draft tunnel. Cause I feel like maybe I could reverse this and get the Shadow Man away. I don't think it's gonna be that easy, 
but you never know. Maybe it might change things. I don't think we took anything from the ruins because we usually don't take anything from haunted places. I have been thinking about doing that maybe just to like have as souvenirs. I think that'd be kind of cool to take the stuff home. I mean, I wouldn't recommend you guys to do that if you don't want to be haunted, but I am thinking of maybe going back to the haunted ruins alone. I don't know when. It'll probably be sometime this year. I would love to go there and do a shadow man seance. I just want to get to the bottom of why it's haunting me and just see what's going on. As much as you guys probably would like to see that too. I want to as well. And hopefully when I go there, I don't get a new spirit attached to me when I go home. I want to go back to the Ouija board for a minute. I want to know who made up the rule that saying goodbye ends the seance altogether. I want to know who made that up because who's to say that just because you go to goodbye on the Ouija board and say goodbye to it, how do you know that spirit is actually going to leave you alone afterwards? Like it could just be like, okay, yeah, you said goodbye. So what? I'll still follow you. I'll still haunt you. We don't know what happens when we say goodbye on the Ouija board. Like, are we really saying goodbye or is there something more to it? Like, are we actually closing the portal that we opened while playing it? Because we've played the Ouija board multiple times on this channel. I'm kind of thinking that when you go to goodbye, you're not really saying goodbye. I think whatever is there is going to latch itself onto you and it ain't going to feel like saying goodbye. That's just my personal take on it. With these 3am challenges, it's like, do this and it'll leave your house. The 3am challenge won't haunt your home by summoning this demon. I would just like to know who made up the thing where it's like you say goodbye and it's just automatically gone. I just don't think that's how it works. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. So I think that's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe take into account what I've said. Don't play the 3am challenges. Like when I say don't play play them. I mean, don't play them. If you play them, I'm not responsible for what you do because I'm literally giving you the warning not to. So if you get haunted, it's not my fault. With that being said, don't forget to please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's video. Peace.